Hey everybody, it's Jason. So I'm here with my weekly scent recap number 52 for the week of March 6th through the 12th. So we'll get started here with last Wednesday. I had chocolate mint. And this one is a lot stronger on the mint than it is the chocolate. And lately, for me, peppermint has just been really kind of, uh, I'm not really feeling it. So when it's warmed up a little bit more, the chocolate comes out, but the mint is definitely stronger. And then, then I did vanilla sugar, which is a dupe for the Bath & Body Works fragrance. It smells pretty close to it. Um, the only thing about this one is it wasn't super duper strong. It's kind of like a light perfumey vanilla, but yeah. And it actually, it kind of reminds me too of the way that like if you mixed uh, butter and sugar together, kind of. It kind of smells like that too, so. <laughs> okay, next is blueberry flapjacks. And um, this one is kind of similar to blueberry monkey bread. It just doesn't have like spice in it. And it has more of like a maple type of note to it, so. It was okay, it's just of the two I prefer, Blueberry Monkey Bread. Okay, and then Forest Rain. This one um, kind of reminded me of Tranquility a little bit. And it was better warmed up than, I, than it is on cold. On cold, to me, it kind of has like this really strange note that almost kind of smells like body odor. And I think that for me, Herbal Lavender is what smells like that. <laughs> But yeah, this one, when it's warmed up, it has more of like an ocean air type of scent to it with like rain. So yeah, but it is, it's definitely like an earthy type of scent. So you'd have to like those, I think, to like this one. So yeah. Okay, Sunday, Sweet Rose. Um, This one's like intensely rose but it's not quite as up in your face strong as regular rose is. It's a little bit softer, but yeah, you definitely would have to like rose to like this one. I find that for me, unless it's a really sweet floral, which this one's not, it's more of a powdery perfume type of floral. Yeah, I don't really like those kinds of floral notes, so this one wasn't really for me, but if you like rose, this would be a good one for you. Sea Salt and Lotus Blossoms. So this one's a very clean type of scent. It smells a lot like the regular Lotus Blossom scent. It just has like, I don't know if it's like salty sea air or something in it, because it it sounds weird to say you can smell salt, but I think it's like that ocean breeze type of salty note. If you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, I mean, it's it's slightly floral, but it's more of a clean scent than anything else. So if you like clean scents, this would definitely be a good one for you. And then the last one for this week. Now, this one, it says Anjou Pear, but I think it's supposed to be like Anjou Pear. So this one is a floral pear scent. I guess it's kind of the best way to describe it. And I'm not sure like what that floral note is. It's a very tart pear. It gets a little bit sweeter when it's warmed up, but it's like a very tart pear with a slight floral note to it. So I definitely prefer Simply Pear over this one, but yeah, if you're looking for another pear scent that's kind of a little bit different and has a little bit something else to it, then you might get this one to try. So yeah, so that was my weekly scent recap number 52. And um, I guess I've officially finished one year with a weekly scent recap, so <laughs> yay. So as always, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.